everyone welcome back to simple meals with Jess and over the holidays we prepared beef stuffed bell peppers and tomatoes and of course we did not follow a recipe we just used whatever we had in our pantry and the fridge however I'll be sharing with you our simple recipe for our stuffing okay stuffed bell peppers and stuffed tomatoes are a classic dish that remain popular because they are so delicious and can be made in various other ways. Everyone will be asking for seconds when these are on the dinner table, I guarantee you. A true comfort food, versatile, flavorful, and a bit of healthiness thrown in as well. Combine your ground raw beef, breadcrumbs and chopped seasoning, dry herbs, salt and pepper in a bowl, and also remember pre-cooking meat is optional we did not pre-cook pre our meat we used it raw do not forget to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease a small baking dish as you can see in the bowl we have chopped onions parsley bell peppers coriander which we will be adding to the ground beef and tomato pulp mixture. Yes, previously, if you look back at the beginning of the video, we cut the tomato tops, loosened the flesh, and reserved the pulp to be used in the filling. Slice the top of peppers, cut the inside membranes, and remove the seeds. We did add quarter cup milk to our breadcrumbs, but this is optional. Add to your filling along with any remaining seasoning, dry herbs, spices that you may have and mix well. The tomatoes are fully emptied and the tomato shells are ready for stuffing. In a traditional stuffed pepper recipe, the bell peppers are boiled before they are stuffed with meat and covered in a tomato sauce. However, we prepare these without boiling the peppers first. When you bake the peppers without boiling them first, you get a nice semi firm pepper and that retains the fresh pepper taste. However, blanching the peppers softens them a bit so they are more tender and less bitter. It's okay to skip blanching like we did, but the peppers, as I mentioned before, will be slightly crunchy. If you decide to blanch the peppers, make sure you let them dry or use paper towels to dab any pool water on the inside of the peppers. Remember to blanch for only 5 minutes. When you are ready to bake, Add the bell peppers and tomatoes to a lightly oiled baking dish. Drizzle with olive oil and bake in a preheated oven for one hour until the beef is cooked through. Before serving, sprinkle some cheese on top if you desire. Bon appétit! Enjoy! And happy cooking! We have provided a recipe in the description below and some cooking tips as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day!